Righty oh, we come to question six. All right. This says the rate at which water is pumped out of a dam in liter per minute, t minutes after the pump is started, is the delta v over delta t. The change of volume with respect to the change of time is equal to five plus cosine pi t over forty. All right. So like always, this is a weight equation in liter. Per minute as the unit, t minutes at the blah blah. Well, good. So the first question: How much water is pumped out in the fortieth minute? Now this time is asking you for the fortieth, not forty minutes, but fortieth minutes. So we're looking for how much water is pumped out. So the rate is which is pumping out there. So we're looking at we're using the um our rate function dv over dt is equal to five pluses. Cos pi t over forty. All right. So when t equals to forty, we can find dv dt. So we get dv dt is equal to five pluses cos pi forty over forty. Right now, the forty cancels out, which would just give us cos pi. Now, for those who have, for those of you who have forgot it, forgot it, um, the cos on a unit circle is the x value. Right, so at pi, pi is over here. At this point. The coordinate is negative one zero, so cos pi is equal to the the x value, which is negative one. Another graph you can also draw with something like this, so the normal cosine graph. So this is zero pi over two pi, three pi over two, and this is two pi. So here, this is negative one as well. All right, so. So that's what is equal to. So the v over the t is equal to five pluses negative one, right? And that the same as five minus one. So the v d t is equal to four liters. Yeah, four liters. So let's you know try to answer the question. You know, um, this this communication marks, right? Let's. Look, I haven't been doing that in the previous question, but from now on, I would do it just to show you how you what 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 you should do in the exam to get you know good communication marks. So you go therefore. What's what's the question? How much water is pumped out in the fortieth minute? So you go therefore, four liters of water is being pumped out. Pumped out in the fortieth minute, right? You get asked in a sentence. You answer the question in a sentence as well. Good, good habit. All right, proud of myself. Um, go B. Find the formula of water pumped out at any time t after the pump is started. So we're looking for the volume. So obviously. We have to、um, integrate this. So move the t to that side. So this side becomes v. All right. So that's we have to integrate it. So let's write the function out again. The v, the t is equal to five plus cos pi t over four t. So let's integrate both sides. Right. Okay. So we know that from now. So, so now we know that when you integrate the constant, you know, with a variable, you get v. And we can just separate this. It makes it easier for me, at least. Oh, it's a plus. Yeah, it's plus. Okay. So just want to double check.、Um, plus. 
because um, pi t over 40 and then dt. All right. Now the five e c e c is the constant. We just we 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 put the variable. Uh, we will put the variable next to it. This is five t plus this. Now, when you integrate cos cosine, you get um, sine. Right. So you get sine. The bracket doesn't change. And then we have to divide by the derivative of the brackets. So it was inside. Divide the derivative of the inside and then plus c all right don't forget the cool guys plus c <laughs> um now we can tidy this thing up a bit so that will become five equal five t pluses 40 sine pi t over 40 or over pi plus c now if you forgot remember a over b b over c is always equal to a over b multiplied by c is equal a c over b so now right here we got our a we got our b we got our c so it just becomes uh, well c a same thing multiplication c a over b so that's what i did all right so that's how you make it look nicer than before Okay, so that's our formula equation, but we've got a C there. I don't like that. Let's see if we can try to find out any other information to solve for that. I don't want to, I want, I don't want to have a C in there. So he says the rate at which water is pumped out of a dam in L, uh, in liter per minute, T minute after the pump is started. So that means before the pump starts, there will be no water pumping out. Right? Makes sense? So we have to make a educated assumption here. Right? Assume when t equal to zero, v equal to zero, right? Before you start the pump, no volume of water is being pumped out. So let's sub that in into the equation. We're going to five t, oh sorry, not five t anymore. So five times zero, pluses 40 sine pi times zero over 40 or over pi plus c right so five times zero is zero plus 40 sine now and it's got since we've got a zero in there when you multiply divide it makes everything inside equal zeros right okay now so zero is equal to, i'm not going to write that again so 40 now sine zero remember sine zero is here so right at the beginning, sine zero. So sine zero is zero. So this would be 40 times zero over pi. And since we've got a zero here, it makes everything equal to zero. So zero is equal to C. So good. So we don't have to worry about C. So our therefore, remember the, the question asked us in um in, in the words, we have to we have to answer it back into words. Find the form of water pump at any time. Okay. So. The volume of water pumped out any time T pumped out at any time T is given by the formula, by the equation, and then we have our equation here, V equal to 5T um, plus, oops, not sign, plus 40 sine pi T over 40 or over pi plus C. Oh, so no, no more C, no more C, uh, no more C. All right, haven't finished yet. Where T is, um, we we'll give a unit of T, where T is minutes after the pump start. T 
accept. So that's our proper answer for that. Okay, so see how much water is pumped out after 40 minutes. So this one's asking us how much water, the volume of water pumped out after 40 minutes. So we have to use the volume formula. So this one is find V when T equal to 40. So our volume formula is 5T plus sine pi 40 over 40 over pi. So V will be equal to 5 times 40. All right, plus is sine. Now the 40 cancels out. It'll just give us pi in there. All right, so that will give us 200 plus. Now sine pi, let's draw the the thing again. Zero is here, pi over two is here, pi is here. So sine pi is still zero. See this one is still zero. So it's zero over pi. It's just, that's just nothing, right? Just zero. So V is equal to 200 liters. All right, so let's answer back into word as well. So the, uh, the question is, find the, um, how much water is, is pumped out after 40 minutes? So our answer would be, 200 liters of water has been pumped out after 40 minutes. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Next question. Find the average rate at which water is pumped in the first hour. So the first hour here, first hour, so one hour, we've got 60 minutes. All right, so we have to find first, find out how much, how much, uh, how much water has been pumped out in the, in 60 minutes. So to find V, um, when T equal to 60. All right, so V is equal to 5T plus sine pi uh t uh, oops 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 this is t over 40 over pi all right so sub 60 into there 60 here plus a sine pi 60 over 40 over pi now five times 60 just give us 300 pluses now sine here we can't cancel this out, but we can simplify it. It's good for use two. So it's three pi over two. So sine three pi over two. Let's check the diagram. So the zero pi over two pi is three pi over two. So sine here is negative one. All right? So it's if it's negative one over pi. Okay, so that's the same as I go should minus uh, one over pi. All right, let me try to pull out a calculator to work that out. So 300 minus one over pi. Now here you should use radian for the pi. I suppose, I think that would be better. Um, so it would be Wait, hold on. I think I made a mistake. Let me check. Something's missing. Something is missing. Ah, uh, the volume for the volume for equation is actually 40 sine. I've been missing 40 everywhere. Says so this will be 40. Uh, 40. So 40 times that. Ooh, that doesn't change. That doesn't that's make that's still 200 liters. But ah, uh, here changes. So it'll be 40 here. So it's 40 here. So it's not negative one anymore. It's neg is is forty multiplied by negative one. So it would be negative forty over pi here. Whew. I was gonna say that the thing doesn't look too right. Um okay. So three hundred minus forty over pi. So two eighty-six. Oh, sorry, the volume is approximately 287 point let's just round to two decimals so two um sorry seven um liters 
All right, so this liter, this much of water has been pumped out in 60 minutes. So to find the average rate, we just have to go the total water being pumped out, divided by how many minutes is there. So divided by 60. So we get approximately 4.79 liters per minute. All right, so that's our answer. So let's enter in back into Word again. So find the average rate at which water is pumping out in the pumped out in the first for first hour. So therefore, the average rate. Hmm. Just make sure the average rate at which water is pumped out in the first four hour the average rate at which water is pumped out in the first hour of bracket 60 minutes is approximately Four point seven nine liters per minute. Perfect. All right. Last question, I believe. How long would it take to fill the tank, holding sixteen um, hundred liters? So the question is asking for how long. So we're looking for T. Right. So we're looking for T. So how long? Well, we're just looking for T it's using the volume function. So this one's fine. T when V equal to 1,600. So your function will be 6,100 equal to 5T plus 40. So I'm not going to forget about the 40 again. Um, T over 40 here. Pi. So, oh, so, so let's try to find that. Let's try to find that. Um, you know what? I'm going to use the cheating way. I'm going to plot this function in the um, decimals, right? And find my answer over there. All right. So let me pull up the graph and boom, there we got it. We got the graph. So, you know, I took the lazy way out. <laughs> I grabbed it on decimal, put in another function, and we find, uh, and then put in two function, the original volume function and y equals 1600, you know, and then find the intercept of the two. So that give us uh, the x coordinate of 320. Now, remember the x coordinate or, or the, our x axis represent time, all right? So that would be 320 minutes. And if we divide that by 60, we get five hours and 20 minutes. So that's how long it would take. So therefore it will take five hours and 20 minutes to fill a tank of 1600 liters booyah there you go yeah i know i know you were probably thinking in the test you can't use decimals right well in the test you can use your graphic calculator to graph the two function all right the, the volume function and set the other function as 1600 and you just find the intercept same thing all right i'm not going to try to bother to solve it like you know mathematically but you could you could i'm pretty sure you could um but um no i'm not gonna do it <laughs> which is an easy way out why would you want to take the hard way uh I'm not, I'm not saying that but you know in the exam time is time is of the essence so you want to solve question as as quick as as possible and on and in the test you're supposed to just draw the graph for them and then you know label your point of interest which is the intercept and tell them that's how you find it no mark should be taken away from you because you know you know what the process is okie dokie that's one long one all righty oh that's question six guys all right my my hands getting sore 
All right, let's go into commercial break and we come back with question seven.